We talk about this and talk about that. Shut up, stop running out, let's talk about facts. Live a little, laugh a lot, let's have some fun. Listen to Gina, she'll tell you how it's done. Did you know? Good to know. What did you know? Well, now you know. Never know what's gonna happen on the No Filter Show. Loud and proud, funny and cool. Say what you're thinking, that's her only rule. The No Filter Show is brought to you by Boost Academy. Boost Academy is a smart school that prepares children, grades 4 through 12, for the modern world. Hi everybody, welcome to the No Filter Show. With me, I always do a little singing piece, it kills me, I think because I hear the music. So today on the show we have Gladys Hannah Martin and Crystal Holder. It's going to be exciting. I have a nice list of questions that she doesn't know I'm going to ask. So we're going to see if she answers all. Woohoo! I'm excited. See you in a minute. That's her only rule. The No Filter Show is proudly sponsored by Another Production, BAF Financial and Insurance. Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist, Bliss Wax Boutique, Blue Lagoon, Checkers Cafe, Dairy Queen, Live to Fish, Mesa Grill, Milo Butler and Sons, Pop Star Entertainment, Oasis Shopping, Boost Academy, Island Game, Sun Oil Limited, and Quality Home Center. Hi everybody, good afternoon. My name is Mitsunori Chikawa. Welcome to Latin Restaurant. Today, we prepare a hamachi jalapeño tiradito. All my dishes, I try to, to mix different flavors, spicy, sour, sweet, to make a hamachi flavor. After put the hamachi in the plate, we need to season it with the Himalayan salt, a little pinch of black pepper. Then, to have a fresh flavor, we put uh, some to make a spicy flavor. We we put a roaster jalapeno pepper. We use a special sauce, the name is jalapeño ponzu. It's a half part of the ponzu sauce and a half part of jalapeño dressing. And finally, we put uh, some topping of the fried leek in each hamachi slices. Here we are, okay? So, this is hamachi spicy jalapeño. Welcome. Plan the best day of your life today. Check us out at www.live2.fish or on Facebook, Instagram, and TripAdvisor. Email us at 
info at live2.fish. This segment is brought to you by Mesa Grill. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the No Filter Show. And I have with me the one and only Glennis Hannah Martin. I love that she keeps her full name. <laughs> that Hannah is strong. Right, Stephen? <laughs> Stephen's a Hannah. It's strong. So welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, it's, um, it's a pleasure to be here. Are Thank you. Are you excited? I'm very excited. We always talk via WhatsApp and stuff. <laughs> so it's nice to see each other face to face. Gina, it's hard not to be in your company and not be excited. You have that excited vibe about you. Oh, do I? Great. Has anyone noticed it? I know. <laughs> it's always fun. <laughs> and, and you know what? I Let me tell you all something. One of the questions I was going to ask you is, are you reachable? Because I ask just <clears> about <throat> any singer, any member of parliament, any government official. I say, do you? Are you reachable? But it's unfair for me to ask you that. You know why? Because when I text you, boom, you answer me immediately. Yeah. So I know that one thing you are and anybody is reachable, yeah. it's her. And that's one thing I appreciate. So Thank you. I'm bringing you on here. I like to <coughs> always let the public know, and I only bring to you who I actually like. I don't know if you know that. No, I, I, didn't, I, yeah. didn't, know, I didn't know you had this criteria. I do. <laughs> I do. You don't. You, you only come and sit in here, and I don't like you. <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I feel privileged. I've actually had people ask to come, you know. Yeah. And yeah. I said, I'm a little booked up. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they're not watching. To like water? Oh, thank you. I hope, I hope they're not watching and, and understanding that you're really not booked up. It's just that you don't like them. I, I, and I, well, <laughs> it, you know, my mom always says, have a little bit of manners and say, um, you know, say something if you don't have anything nice to say. Because I would be a person to say, I really don't like you. <laughs> I, I do that. Just that, you know. Thank God for mama. <laughs> exactly. She's old school. Yeah, she, <laughs> she tries to keep me molded a yeah, little, a little yeah. bit. So, uh, First of all, I want to know, you were born mm -hmm. into politics. So yeah. you were in this your whole life. Whole life. So do you feel that since you were small that this is what your life was going to be? You were going to end up in it? Did you always feel like that? No sense of it ever. Never. No, no so, never. So what happened? I came into politics late. When I, when I um, first joined Frontline Politics, it was as chairman of the women's branch, and I was 40. Oh, I didn't realize me. that. No, I no. feel like you've been doing this forever. I've been involved in my father's political life um, because, I, you know, he is my father. But I, I actually believe in, in what he expressed and he articulated because he's, a, he's an ideologue. And I w that really attracted me even as a young child. So I, I've been involved in his campaign at the local level in his constituency. But I always saw it as supporting and ensuring his sustaining, sustainability in politics, never as me. Ever, ever, ever. And um, so, you know, this, this thing came very late. So, no, I, I never had that, um, I can't wait for my time. It was never like that. Never. Yeah. The next thing is, you know, everybody thinks that when you are mm -hmm. in politics and you don't really have a life, mm -hmm. like this is what you do, that, that's it. Boom. Yeah. So, uh, do you have kids? You're married? <laughs> do you have grandchildren? Do you actually have a life? <laughs> Let me just say, right, the political life is very intense. And once you sign on to it, Everything agitates, inspires. It, it's, it's like this high, high, heightened sense of sensitivity in all kinds of things. But I do have a life. I, as I've indicated, I, I, joined Paul, I became involved at 40. So by that time, some things happened. And I, I have three children, uh, two girls and a, and a boy, all men, a man and, and um, two women, now daughters. And so um, I have a life. But to be honest with you, uh, as you... As they grow up and get out of the way, politics does become all-consuming. Mm -hmm. But I do have a reality. I do understand what it is to bring children to the world, to, understand, to, to, uh, to think about what their future will be, to hope for a country that, that sustains our, our dreams of our young Could people. You have grandkids, too? I have, grand, I have two grandkids, two, two boys. And um, I took them to the food store yesterday. And boy, look here, I just saying it's a good thing at a certain age, the childbearing years end because... I don't think I could cope with that again. But yet she was, just, she was just wishing off air, wishing for another child in my life. You think I had right? I think that out there in the public domain, we should do a poll. How many people believe Gina should have one more child? Just one more. How many people think I should go to jail for hanging this woman? She's just was speaking that your head, right? No, just wait. Just one. No, no, no. I'm good, thanks. I, I've capped. I've capped out. You've capped. You've yeah, capped. I like to travel and have fun, you know. Oh, yeah, I do yes, this. Yes. You can't do that with no, no baby. No, no, you're what? right, you're right. <laughs> and, 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 and BBL turning it off and all that. Oh, you imagine having a baby and being fat and pregnant. But I'll guess what? Myself. 
BPL, no light and all of that might be an incentive to these things. <laughs> be careful, <laughs> be boy, careful. Boredom, exactly. <laughs> it's dark, nothing's happening, might as well. <laughs> mm. So I have a question now. If you could turn back time, would you go <clears throat> into politics still? <clears throat> you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, 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 I'll find it difficult to answer that because I believe that every step, everything is part of God's um, unfolding of your life. And so I don't want to second guess anything, not even the, the painful moments and the, the disappointments, the, the mistakes. I believe all of it has been part of the forming and framing and creation of who I am. I think I'm wiser today than I could have ever been in my wildest dreams uh, 20 years ago, 10 years ago. So I, I, I wouldn't want to, um, to backtrack. I, 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 I just ac I accept the calling and um, I do my best. But to be honest with you, a, a lot of times I find it burdensome because I, I am so sensitive to all of the things. Uh, you know, I, I, I do get highly disappointed, very excited. Well, we're women. Angry. We're women. <laughs> you know? What do they call us? We're emotional <laughs> creatures. That's where it leads up to my next question yes. is, don't you <clears> think it's time we have a woman prime minister? Um, let me put it like this, right? right? Nicely, I answered that. I thought I automatically <laughs> say yes, but now. <laughs> yes! I think it's time. Yes! Yes! This yes! Is you know what? Hey. Exactly! <laughs> and you know what they love to say? We're emotional creatures. But yeah. I say, but we get it done. We get it done. And, and you know, life is about passion. Passion is emotions, it's about love, it's about pain, it's about um, all, all of these things. These things are fuel, they're engines to make things happen. And so, I, you know, I, I don't see that as being disadvantaged at all. I think it's an asset. Yeah, absolutely. It's an asset. And, and like I said, I don't know if y'all know, but women are, I don't want to say are, women have taken over the world. And yes. some men have just embraced it. Yes. My husband has always say, she, he say, he don't say go to my wife, go to my boss. <laughs> he said go to my boss. Because you know what, he's been like, she can get it done, go to my boss. <laughs> he's a mean? smart man, you know. Exactly. He's like, a sm he knows how to get it done. Exactly. And, and I'm sure he's a beneficiary. And we're a great team. That's right. Because you know who's strong. That's right. And in what areas. That's right. And, that, and that's what teamwork is all about. I, I, I like your husband, yeah, man. Like, I, I think that he is very mature. Yep. Very mature, and exactly. I think we need more and more men to be less insecure. Yes, and and to be more secure. I don't want to take what you was do, but no. if I'm better at it, then let me do it. Let Boom. you do it, and we all benefit. Okay, so another question is: Let's say that you were prime minister for one day. I gave you the shield for <laughs> twenty four hours. What is the one change? <clears throat> if you had the power to change anything, what would it be? Wow, one day, one day would not be enough. The problems are too great. Okay, what, but, what but is the one problem that you want to fix? I think the one problem that I would want to fix, I think it's education. Okay. I think it's education because I think it's the core and root of everything. It's the, I, I think it, uh, that is the root of it. issues of poverty, issues of health care, issues of the economy. I think it'd be education. I, I would go at it and I, and I, would, um, I would get, when you give me that shield, I would go and get a cutlass, and I'll just chop, 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 mm -hmm. and s create a new foundation, a new day, a new way right. that sends a different message to our children, to our country, not the old template. I threw the template out the window. I was going to say, completely gone. <laughs> throw it out the like window. Like I say, basura, garbage, <laughs> in the garbage. And, and, and let's look at it, our situation, and craft something that makes sense for our people and our experience, and, and what it is we seek to achieve as a people. Easier said than done. Yeah, much easier. Easier said than done. But I, I, I think that's where I would start. All right. Yeah. So if, if you were a prime minister for a day and you got the shield, what would you do? Oh, <laughs> look who did the twist <laughs> out of me. Listen, I would do so much because I, I, no, 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 no. I fast, you know. You only got 24 no, hours no. now. And I could do plenty in 24 <laughs> hours because let me tell you, WhatsApp is a serious <laughs> thing. I know that because when I WhatsApp, you use make it happen fast. <laughs> okay, but answer the question now. Um, I think that education is important, but I'm not going to lie. Um... I, you know what? The thing that honestly that uh, irritates me probably the most, which I really would always say, like if I, they say, Jeannie, you should run. And then I, you know what ministry I would want? Fisheries. Mm -hmm. awesome. I cannot stand. They see the other day, actually on the show, my next show, um, I promise that I'm going to have some of the fishermen because I want to talk about, because the crawfish season is open and they go into their condos 
and all the all the, the Dominicans have taken everything. No, that, that's a so serious issue. So I was, I keep saying, you know, <coughs> if I was minister, yeah, you yeah. know, I, you know, and you, you know, my head ain't right. So I keep saying, and then I go, but I want to do works because I want to fix the ruins, but I want to do this, so I will do this. So I am one of them. Then I say, well, I got to be prime minister. <laughs> I know you need more than twenty-four hours. Yes, that's it's the true. problem. It yeah, is true. You need more than twenty-four hours. All right, we're gonna. But take that's a, an important issue. We're gonna know? take a quick break, and when I come back, I'm gonna ask some more questions with Glennis Hannah Martin. See you in a minute. Well, let me tell you, you don't want me to I'm crazy. <laughs> Boost Educational Services presents Boost Academy, a boutique smart school that prepares children in grades 4 through 12 for the modern world. Students will be held to international standards in their core subjects while also engaging in individualized learning pathways that play to their unique strengths and interests. Boost maintains a student-staff ratio of 1 to 8 and provides after-school clubs, classes, one-on-one tutoring, and social-emotional counseling support at no additional cost. Furthermore, students will enjoy weekly PE and swimming at Evolve Functional Fitness. Stepping away from the traditional model, Boost Academy aims to prepare your child for world citizenship by tackling topics such as human rights, the Constitution, financial literacy, and entrepreneurship. If you're a parent with uncompromising standards for education and you're seeking a holistic educational program, please reach out. Find us on the web at www.boostbahamas.com or email info at boostbahamas.com. Here's to all the early morning breakfasts. To the last minute surprises and a new friend for life. The year the sparks flew and we said, I do. Here's to the biggest table on the street when family and friends come together. Milo Butler, your neighborhood store, a family tradition summer take off with shell spend twenty dollars or more in fuel and enter to win you and a friend can experience bruno mars live in concert in viva las vegas or relax in picturesque harbor island for the regatta or plan an exciting vacation for four to orlando fuel up at your nearest shell service station and you can also win thousands of dollars in free gas bahamas air vouchers super value gift certificates or one of many new iphones that will be given away this summer so hurry into your favorite shell location and enter to win like us on facebook for more chances to take off with shell and win today. Hey, hey, boo, what's up? Right, yeah. Uh, you still going to the event? Yeah, I ordered my dress right now. Let me call you back. Okay, good. Me too. This segment is brought to you by Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist. We're back to the No Filter Show, and I'm still here with Gladys Anna Martin. And she is a member for Anglerston, for those of you who don't know. I only know that because I talk to her all the time. <laughs> I, 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 Y'all know I know nothing about politics. I only bring on these politicians who I actually like, and I just like to let people know who they are as people because y'all don't know. So now I'm going to ask you a few <clears throat> personal questions. We're going to okay. go off the politics a little okay. bit. Let's find out about you as a person. Now, if you were not a politician mm -hmm. or <clears throat> in law, what would you be doing? I would be doing something creative, um, something out of the box. Um, I would probably, if it, well, you know, it could be in the lines of education, mm -hmm. but it would be out, outside of the box. It would be something that we, it would be sort of off the wall in terms of pre presentation, but that would stimulate genius in young people. Because that's something that you, yeah, were you passionate about? Well, I, 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 th I, I think so. I, I, I haven't, I've never taught before, but I think so. I, I think that I'm, I'm passionate about um, uh, stimu or inciting um, the greatness in people. She's never taught before. <laughs> she gets in the class with 30 children. She can say, I know this no more. <laughs> I believe you're right, you Let know. me tell you. That no, I believe you. I believe teachers you. are very special people. Yeah, I, I know. I, I can't know. do it. No, no. Oh, no. I would probably last five minutes, and then I will go to the second thing I think right, I would right, do. Right, exactly. Would, no, yeah, I, yeah. Gina, I decided I don't want to do that anymore. We <laughs> I, should do a little project. No, they are <laughs> they are special, though. Yeah, yeah. Yes, let me tell you. I can't do it. No, they're, they're underappreciated, um, yes. underpaid. I was going to say an underpaid. Underpaid, my, you know. My, my 
my sister's a teacher, so I yeah. know. And you know, we really, that's in a new paradigm, you have to really put, um, raise the profile of teachers to the level at which it must be. Yes. They're nation builders. Agreed. In fact, you know what I say? They're next to God in a lot of ways because they're actually helping to shape Yes, people. the lives. The lives and of people. And a lot of these parents think that it's a teacher's responsibility to do everything. No. That's what's killing me. They, yeah, you know, they, get, they get stuck with it. Yes. You know, and, and then it becomes problematic because it's unmanageable, you know, and undermines their ability to do what they're trained to do, you know, so, properly. So, what is your favorite movie? Boy. Um, my, well, not my favorite movie. Uh, one of my favorite movies is... Um, Dead Poet Society. At least we've learned that she actually watched movies. <laughs> because when that question came up between me and Steve, and I said, suppose she doesn't watch movies. So she was like, what do you mean? Everybody watches movies. And it's right. like, yeah, there you go. Dead, Dead Poet Society. That's a, good movie. that's a very good movie. Yeah. And it's a similar thing where children are in a sc boarding school environment who are in a box. Yes. And this off the wall, the same thing I just described, teacher comes in there and he just... And this is she, so oh. suddenly she thinks she could do it. <laughs> that was a movie. <laughs> well, I, I was inspired. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't tried it, so at least I've got more sense than that, you know. So your people are from my cow. <clears throat> How come you never run from my cow? How do you end up in Anglison? I, I, you know that's a long story, but um, they're from Acklands. Um, I, my father's from Pompey Bay. And um, I actually started out in politics in the seat. It was then called Holy Cross. The member right. of parliament was Carl Bethel. Yes. And that is where I worked in there for almost a year. But then there were some maneuverings in the, in the political maneuverings. And I ended up in Angliston because there was a vacancy. And then they wanted to move someone else in Holy Cross. And so that's how I ended up there. But I could tell you, it has been an, an, uh, just an incredible experience. And even in this last general election, I am very grateful. They, they stuck with me in a very, t very, very tough election. Yes. Very tough. And people stuck with me. And so I, I, I am just, um, just so grateful and, and um, um, you know, indebted to the people who I represent. And you know what? Let me give you all a story of what happened the other day. Um, it was so funny. And it's, I always say it's amazing how God works. Where Because I'm a head mm. and everybody thinks that, um, you know, call Gina because she's going to save the world. So I had somebody inbox me and say that their so the wife left and the husband had the child and the child couldn't get in school mm. and <coughs> uh, school is starting in, in, a, in a week and um, it was just like all this drama and they couldn't get any help. So it's so funny when I said, what constituency <laughs> are they in? And they said, I'm just getting nice. I was like this. Well, 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 what do you know? I, one, of, one of the actual people who get things done. Hold on one second. I side note, boom. Texted you. You say, get him in my office, mm -hmm. 945. Boom. Mm -hmm. They moved on and everything. And now everything is falling into place mm -hmm. and it's straight. And it's stuff like that where I can tell you true stories. It's happening. You're getting it done. Get and it I done. appreciate that. And I, just, I told Gina off here that the young lady who knows you, she said, Gina's so passionate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, yeah, we know. <laughs> That's not what she said. She'd lie. <laughs> She's telling the truth what you said. That, that's what I said. We you know. <laughs> we leave it just like that. Oh, she let that part there. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, and how many, uh, it's so funny because you're a Hannah and Stephen's a Hannah. Yeah. How, how much cousins do you think you have? Oh, uh, we, have, we have a nation of cousins. This is this, the Hannah Hasty Times is a huge family and they're really um, a productive family. And you see right now with this Mr. Hannah right here, he's doing an excellent job. I mean, he's, he's good people. Yeah. This is good people. Because he's a Hannah? Um, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because of that. Yeah, no, he's good people. Okay, uh, so do you sing in the shower? Um, no. No. Listen, by the time it's, it's time to shower, you got you got a little bit of, you got a certain amount of time, you got to hurry do it and get out and, and oh, move on to the next one. You have time to enjoy and be like, no, in I don't have candles and oh, the fragrances oh. and all. No. As soon as you, you There's no aspect of my life that's like that right oh, now. Oh, no. Lord. And Lord. then you run it again? Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so we, we, we I'm gonna have that. Let me tell you something. When I hear you retire, I could drop you a candle. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna enjoy and, and, the moment. And the scents and everything. Yes, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if you were to be stuck on a desert island, mm -hmm. and you only <coughs> could take one luxury item and one necessity, mm -hmm. what would it be? On the the internet and water. Whoa! Yes. <laughs> but you take an internet. The internet. internet. You, you gotta have work. internet. You need internet. Internet is, is your window to the world. Well, that's the thing. The whole point of being a desert island <laughs> is so... No, you, you don't want to be dirty. there, but you're, you're stuck there. So what, do you got, what, what would you grace yourself with? Then you could, then you could text someone and say, pick me up. <laughs> well, Jean, I have to ask this question. I'm sorry. I know it's your show, but what would you, what would two things you have? And you need water. Yeah. 
My luxury would probably be my husband. Oh, boy. What I knew you were going to say that. What do you mean? He's, I know you think he's, he's Listen, watching. I, I'm Don't surprised. Don't that, Gina. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm scared to say. My, my, my husband knows my relationship with Brad. He knows that. Brad getting on in, in life, you know. Yeah. Getting on. I now. care. Lord, I grew up with him. Me and him getting all together. So, and my husband is telling me I married him because he looked like Brad Pitt. So, <laughs> let me tell you, I'm going to tell you so much about Brad, and you're going to now go Google Brad, and you might like Brad, and <laughs> me, you can fight over Brad. Well, I got to find what the latest is with Brad because I, I, I'm hearing some things I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you don't need to worry about Brad. Don't worry, he's mine. I'll take care of him, okay? I give him all to you. Yeah, exactly. All to you. So, I have a question. When you go to work, when you drive your car, do you get upset like I do over with all the um, people who can't drive on this island? Do you feel as if people buy the <coughs> license? Well, you know, I see that too, right? But you know what bothers me more? What bothers me is the um, the aggressiveness and the um, hoggishness. I'm one of those, right? Hoggishness. You know, you know, when there was a time when someone let you, you say, thank you. Right. The beep beep. No one says that. No one says thank you anymore. Mm -hmm. They push you out the way there. That, I don't mind the bad driving, the Just old mean, people. they mean. That bothers me, but it's the mean, it's that, that thing that's creeping in. I, I'm very surprised that I'm, I find, I'm very concerned about that. That bothers me. I say, what happened to my country? Yeah, because me and mommy was driving yesterday, and it was so jokey that we're sitting there for the longest, and you think, mommy was like, they mean, hey. Like, they wouldn't even let us. We yes, was trying to, I, it was so funny. I wasn't trying to get in, you know. I was trying to turn through to get in a <coughs> plaza. Yes, yes. So it ain't even like I was going to be in right. front of you, a yes, whole car. Yes, yes, Yeah, it just, and I And then you, you had the light, and the light turned green. Beep, beep, beep. A, 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 mil, a millicenter, or a second, and they, beep, beep. Not, no, not beep, 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 beep. beep. Get out of the way. Get away. It's like, that, I know. I know. That, 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 you know, I see the bad driving. That gets to me, too. But, but nothing more than that right there. And that seems to be a new phenomenon. That, bo that bothers me a lot. You yeah, know? It, it's little things that I feel like I just have to breathe. I just had a uh, rant because on the way here, you know, coming up the highway, and the, with people don't know how to use the roundabouts and all that. And I keep saying, you see, like I said, I guess is why I cannot be in politics because I would be, you know, and I, I don't know how y'all do it. How y'all just go inside Parliament for two, three hours, and I just feel like all oh, y'all talking about nothing. And I just be like, jeez, <laughs> sit up, eh? I, I won't be the speaker. So right. I can say, shut up, <laughs> sit down. You, you want something to say? <laughs> can you imagine? Would that be fun? That would be fun. Then yeah. that would be a cool show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right, everybody. Gladys, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you so much. I thank appreciate you. it. It was thank a lot you. of fun. Gina, it's a pleasure. Let me just, um, you know, I just want to give you kudos. You're a very unique personality. I saw what you did when at the, after the plane crash and you went out there with a team. And it's just, uh, it's just moving beyond the barriers and just knowing the possible and just having a very positive outlook. And, you know, I, I, I have to commend you for that. I, I think Thank it's wonderful. So don't, don't ever lose that. Yeah. And don't it's, let it's menopause hard. take that away. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you know, it is, it is hard when it comes to, because sometimes you do get overwhelmed with people calling, call Gina, call Gina, mm -hmm. call Gina. Yeah. And, uh, like, you know, my mom gets worried a lot about me doing too much. But as well as I do have that side of uh, people, and like my uncle who's a pastor, Pastor Alan Lee. Oh, and I can see it. Yeah, yes, you look that's like my mommy's him. brother. Yes, yes, yes. So you have, I have those people in my life who says, listen, God is giving you this gift. It's, it's an assignment. So now, yes. you you know, when, when he's giving you that, that assignment, that calling, that you have that, you have to do it. You have to do it. So, and, and, I, and I have fun doing it. And I, I have learned now when to say, no, I can't handle mm -hmm. that. Or if I can, the same situation when I texted you. Because sometimes it's just somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who Network. would help. Yes. And it, it happens. It happens. You know, so. Yeah. And I always appreciate that. And I like doing, I, I love to help people. And this is, uh, that, this is why I can't be a politician because I'm too much of a humanitarian. You know, I, I, I have to, I'm doing so much over here. I think I'm stronger from over here, too. Right, right. You know but, what but I mean? You, but you can, I just say, too, though, you can do that in politics. And, and, and I, 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 see, I, I see the same obligation that you see. I see it as an assignment. And, and, I, and, I, and, you know, sometimes I feel just like how you feel. I say, oh, God, no. I feel overwhelmed. Right. But you have to understand that there are people, you know, that you're in a position to help people who need help. Right. I can help from over here. Yeah, but yeah. you're still helping them. Yes, yes. You, you have to help, and and you have to because today it's it's them, tomorrow it's you. Yes. it's what builds community. And, and they, as you long know? as everybody is on this common goal yes. of, of yes. getting things yes. right, yes. It, then there's no problem. That common goal. That's all it is. Common one goal. common goal. Don't one matter common goal. Color. Don't matter. Uh, no. What side? Nothing. Let's just get it right and fix it. Let's Boom. fix it. Let's all right. So it. we're gonna fix it. All right. See you later. We're gonna start our own party. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. The, I'm gonna recruit her. Yeah. <laughs>
Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for coming, Gladys. Thank you. Thanks so much. One-stop department store with so much niceness. Friendly staff, great atmosphere, low prices. They got brand name appliances, furniture, hardware, electronics, home decor, toys and apparel. Shop and save. There's no need to go away. Stay at home and save big. Stop and shop at the quality home center. Home centers when less and is better. With Trio, you can get everything. And more, like our phone. You get features like caller ID, call waiting, call forwarding, and a bunch of others like <clears throat> virtual number. So you can now call friends and family abroad as a local call, all for free. Just call 601-2200 and tell them that you want Trio TV, phone, internet for $99. Powered by Rev, you and us together. This segment is brought to you by Milo Butler and Sons. Hi everybody, we're back to the Little Builder Show. And I have with me from Head Knowles, uh, one of our admins, Crystal Holder. Welcome, Crystal. Hi, Gina. How are you? Great. Season two. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, it went by quickly. I know. I feel like uh, soon, tomorrow you're gonna blink and it's gonna be season 10. Wow. Yes, let's speak it. <laughs> Hopefully we won't have any grease. Yeah. So, Crystal, tell me what is going on in Head Knowles. Come on, come on. What's going on? Tell, tell Besides everybody. Besides the hurricane. Besides the hurricane. Tell everybody your latest rant. I love, listen, out of all of our admins, we have fun with Crystal because she she adds a special touch when she gets upset about something. And you could, I'm, I could hear her saying it, so it's so funny. So, your latest rant was about this whole what do you call this thing um one use paper environmental plastic. yeah I, and i make no apologies for the fact that i'm no environmentalist nor do i it's on my top priority list for wanting to know about it I, i'm sorry right but um don't kill her <laughs> but um my my latest experience with this whole thing other than the fact of when i did go to a particular store last week for one item but saw people carting out their groceries just in the plane trolley like who wants to walk from their store to their car to their house to their kitchen with the whole head of lettuce in their hand yeah. <laughs> right like all your groceries just loose in the back seat and on the floor right. you know so it's a, a big adjustment for me but i said then too this is one store that i won't be shopping for grocery in right uh, and i know everybody says take your own bag thing and whatever but i'm supposed to continuously keep that in my mind that's and a keep serious that in my adjustment you gotta get used yeah. to yeah but um, nonetheless i was driving yesterday because i usually eat and drive and I had this whole bowl of expensive pasta. Or expensive according to the place where I got it from. There you go. Costly. And then, all of a sudden, my thighs started burning because the whole pasta went through the container and into my lap. Right? And I'm sitting there trying to adjust to this heat and figure out as I'm driving what I'm going to do with it. But at the same time, I think it was like a double punch because I'm drinking the smoothie that's no five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or eleven dollar smoothie. When the straw is no more, <laughs> and I have to pull on the side to Eating a Burger King, <laughs> to pull on Burger King just to get a straw to finish, and not even a straw, a spoon to finish the smoothie. So, I, you know, my biggest thing about this whole thing is one, I can't no longer patronize a business that is not taking into consideration the type of product that they're serving and the type of product that they're serving it in. Because if you know that you are serving a wet I was gonna say liquidy. substance, uh -huh. yeah, then you know that you can be cheapy. Exactly. And how long, How do, suppose, the thing is, you picked this up and you was actually driving and eating. Suppose you took this a half hour back to your work and went to your desk. But even, you know, a lot of times, many of us, we don't finish our food. Right, and you gotta you take it, it in home. the fridge. You put it in the fridge, you, gotta, you take it, it in the fridge, you gotta- Put it in the fridge you your know, husband eat. So for me, I, you know, I started thinking about it, and I'm like, okay, they say it's a single-use container, right? But if I now have to warm that food, I need to now put it into this plate. When I finish with it, I got to use my dish liquid, my bleach, <laughs> my dish cloth, my water, my water, my time, energy, you know, just to 
do all of this just for this one piece of food or this one piece of drink. So I, I'm, I'm really one. But the, the main thing is, even if we're moving in this direction, one thing that has to be considered is that you know businesses have to be mindful of what it is that they're giving to the consumer because you can still be charging me this. And I know there's this whole discussion about, oh, paper is more expensive than this and that and the next. But spend a couple cents more to make sure that the product that you're putting in is more durable because I ain't coming back. Or oh, put down the wax paper. I think that'll help. That, that, I mean, and then it, it, it won't leak. Yeah. You got it. You're all gonna think this through. And, and sometimes even the containers that they're using are not sturdy enough to even hold that. So it's one thing to have that it's, it's wet mushy. and it's coming through, but some of the some of the containers are so flimsy that you know you're you're, you're almost doing a balancing act, a balancing the food in your hand, yes. and not so much the container. Right. And then sometimes you go and you break. I don't know if because I when I this is my experience. I was raking, and I actually was raking the paper. To break, yeah. And I was like this. And then, too, I thought it was funny, too, because I, I have a question. So now, yeah, she was drinking out of this paper straw. Oh, it's awful. But hold on. Was it a plastic cup? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so that is what I said. I was like, a lot of people seem to be switching to these paper straws, but they still have plastic cups. Yeah, so plastic I'm a little cup. confused. Yeah. Hmm. So that was our rant, and we love look at it. It's so funny because I'm telling you. On head nodes, we all get to see our little things. But when Crystal says, you could just, you could feel her emotion. It's really funny. And it's very rare. But when she says it, it's like, you all, <laughs> you all we all feel it with you. <laughs> so it's funny. As well as she's our go-to person on head nodes. When it comes to anything in college, when it comes to any visas, when it comes to, <laughs> we, we all tag her. Banking is like, she's that person. So um, what else do we do at HK besides complaining about BPL and We Hurricane Watch? I think that... We have started transitioning a bit onto two, um, not only doing advice um, about everything, mm -hmm. you know, which I like. Like, like you know, when someone says, "I am going to do," I'm sending my kid off to college. Can somebody give me advice on this or the labor law advice or the, you know, and I, and I like that mm -hmm. that we're doing that. Yeah. And what do you think? Because I've been asking every admin this. Mm -hmm. Do you think that we should turn public? You do? Yeah. <gasps> She's the first one who said that. They're all going to kill her. I know. <laughs> I, know <laughs> I, I know. It's going to light up probably in there. So. Uh, and why do you think that? Because I think everybody can utilize our information as well, you know, and we, we don't necessarily need to be selective to, to who we have. We, we do a whole plethora and a wide range of, of everything inside there. So I think it would be to the benefit of everyone I if we were to. Now, I know it would take an extra effort for the... Are you willing to pull up that extra slack? <laughs> we could just continue with the delete, 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 yeah. you know. <laughs> we had to say we're going to keep it a $25,000 mark yeah. and make it public. Yeah, so ah, so now now we have had a change. Yeah. Something is happening. This is the first admin to actually say that we should go public. Sorry. So this is going to be interesting because, you know, as I always tell you all, it's a jury of 12 of us and we vote. So she's the only one with that vote. I, I go on the edge because mm -hmm. I said that maybe we start a page because we're a group. Yeah. So maybe we do a page and we make the page public. Perhaps, yeah. Yeah, so that's what mm -hmm. I was thinking. Okay. But anyway, everybody, this is Crystal Holder with our little Head Nodes uh, segment. Uh, Crystal, did thanks you, for coming. Did, did you put the last thing in there where it's to be no advertising? Yeah, no advertising. Uh, we have them the rules, but how about <laughs> this? Read the rules. <laughs> and for all of you who are not a part of Head Nodes, guess what? One day you may be because do the Crystal. I'm going to promote her to president and we may go public. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, thanks for coming. Thank you, too. All right, darling. With Trio, you can get everything and more. Like our internet, we're taking you from 50 megabits per second download speed to 75 megabits per second. We've gone from blazing to, what's a good adjective? Breakneck, blistering speed. You're getting a 150% speed increase that if you got into that alone. Just call 601-2200 and tell them that you want Trio TV, phone, internet for $99. Powered by Rev. You and us together. The No Filter Show is proudly sponsored by Another Production, BAF Financial and Insurance, Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist, Bliss Wax Boutique, Blue Lagoon, Checkers Cafe, Dairy Queen, Live to Fish, Mesa Grill, Milo Butler and Sons, Pop Star Entertainment, Oasis Shopping, Boost Academy, Island Game, Sun Oil Limited, and Quality Home Center.
Welcome back to the No Filter Show. And I want to let you know a little story what happened to me the other day. So I had to go get um, the car. My husband, my husband still was rocking the white driver's license. Okay. So I had to go get that renewed. Of course, I had to go with him because I'm an awesome wife, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, we're down there, right? So let me tell you the joke. While he had to go on the line to take his picture, I went in the cashier's line to, because, you know, you got line after line after line. So, of course, if there are two of you there, it's almost like Disney World. Be smart. Break up a little bit. And everybody told a line. So I go, and I'm standing in the cashier line. I get served, and I'm now waiting for where they call your name because they're going to print off the driver's license. And I want to do a shout-out that that day I went down there. I love everybody down there. That's one of the government offices that I actually do like, and it's a smooth process. So I have to say that. So anyway, there was an Indian couple that were in there, and I saw them into the section where we were taking the pictures. And so the wife was the one getting her driver's license. The husband heard what I said when I was like, well, let me go over to the next section and stand on the line. So after I had already paid, then he came in the line, and I saw him standing there toting the line to go and pay for the wife. So the same second he stepped out, he got called to the window. His wife walked in the door and was going to the window with him. So here now we have one of our lovely Bahamian people shouts out, Oh, she ain't getting served. She jumped the line. That ain't fair. So, of course, I turned around. I'm not going to lie. I turned around because I thought she was talking about me. And, you know, my God has gone fast. And I turned around. I was looking, trying to figure out who she was talking to. So here we got this little the Indian lady. She was so sweet. And she was like, no, but this is my husband. You know, so, oh, Lord. So I said to the lady, because I am one of them who's jumping people's business. Fine. I don't care. That's how I go. I'm sorry. My husband keeps telling me, yeah, one day I get shooting my mouth. But. What happened was, I turned around and I said, no, no, the husband stood in the line. So it isn't like nobody, oh, you can't do that because he, he's not the one getting a license. It's her getting a license. So I then said, but I just stood in the line for my husband. So what's the problem? So then, it was so jokey, there was a black Bahamian guy with his wife. And he said, because she was like, oh, that's how y'all white people go and da, da, da. You know that had to come up, right? Of course. So the black guy who I was talking to earlier with his wife, he said, well, I must be in trouble too because I stood in line for my wife. <laughs> so the Indian dude, I swear, Stephen, this happened. The Indian dude says to her, the problem is she does not have a husband and it's because of her, because of her attitude. <laughs> Listen to me. I almost died. I was so proud of him. But I was telling him, no, no, I got this because I don't want him to get in trouble. <laughs> You know, because I, you know, you know, being is going to rob each other type of thing. And it was so funny. And then I got, I got really upset because I was like, listen, they are still guests of our country. And we don't know what this dude does, if he's a doctor or if he uh, employs a bunch of, you know, okay, fine, he's an expat, but we really got to do better and treat, they're still guests in our country. You know, so we got to look at things a little different. But that was my experience. That happened last week. And it was so, that happened this week. But it was so funny. And I just wanted to share that with you said to say, you know, we ain't going to jump down everybody's throat for everything. And sorry that we were smart, that we were splitting up and jumping, and not jumping a line. We all told the line. So anyway, have a good day, everybody. And see you next week. Promotional consideration provided by Oasis Shopping and Quality Home Center.